Hello everyone. Welcome back to Snap Magic channel. Today let us see how to switch back from Chrome OS to Windows operating system. Do subscribe our channel, hit the like button and also click the bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. To download the Rufus link, check the description. And to download the Windows 11 ISO file, click on the i button in the top right corner. Double click on the Rufus to open and click on S insert a USB drive select the downloaded iso file from your local storage then go to the image options and select the extended windows 11 installation no tpm or no secure boot Leave the format options, the volume label, file system, and the cluster size as it is, and click on Start. Then click on OK, and wait until the ISO file is copying. Once your USB drive is ready, close Rufus and restart your system. Go to your boot menu, your boot manager, go to boot option menu as EFI USB drive. Select your preferred languages and time and currency format as per your needs and settings and click on next click on install now setup is starting so once your setup is started we get this screen now we don't have a product key so i don't have a product key so once that let's click on the architecture and the operating system that we want to install so mm -hmm. we are going with windows 11 pro n and click on next and accept the microsoft service license once after that click on custom install windows only advanced so where do you want to install windows so there are several partitions here so you can't go and delete all of them at once so it might also contain your chrome os as one of the partitions so what we'll do instead is click on shift f10 and go to command prompt and type disk part after that now let's li list the disks by typing list space disk now you can see here we have disk 0 which has around 456 GB size and only a free space 65 MB so we need that so we'll leave the rest of disk 1 and 2 so let's select the disk 0 to clean it up so let's clean okay uh, sorry we have to not clean we have to select the disk before we clean so let's select the disk 0 by typing select sel space disk space 0 so once that is done type clean enter so the disk part is successfully cleaned so what we'll do is let's go back let's close the command prompt go back a step click on install windows only advanced pro and now you can see an allocated space as 465 gb so what we'll do is let's click on new so which shows the size in mb of the 465 gb so we'll click on apply 
and OK. So we have four partitions here. So the partition one, uh, which has around 100 MB, partition two that is Microsoft Reserved one. So once that is done, let's click on Next and start installing. So the installation will be successful once your process is done here. So it might take a few minutes of your time. So let's wait until then, until all your services have started and it's ready. So now it's successfully installed. So let's start by selecting the country. So I'm from India. Yes. It's taking a bit of time, but it's worth it. So let's select the keyboard layout or input. We're selecting UK as default. So let's skip the secondary keyboard. So we need to select to a wireless connectivity if you have one or else you can also skip it for the later if you don't have an internet. So I'll give us I don't have an internet for now and let's continue with the limited setup. So enter your name here. So we're going up with our channel name, that's Map Magic. Please do subscribe our channel and also hit the like button and share so that you don't miss any videos. Also hit that like button always. Click on accept everything. Just a moment. So your Windows 11 is ready to use so you can rock it from here so it might take a few minutes so don't turn off your PC and don't get too much excited here so tada you're here so we have Windows 11 so you have a beautiful user interface here you can go out and check it so it's really cool